I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome looking background so you can liven up what's going on behind you in your YouTube videos, and we're starting right now. Okay, so over here, I've got this area, you know, looking pretty cool with the uh, lights and, you know, how I've got everything set up over on this side. So I've got two sets. I can use that one or I can use that one. And both of these are actually relatively simple as well. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this, which is pretty bland, and we're going to turn this into something that looks cool when we are shooting videos here as well. So the first thing that I did is I went to a local store and I got a bunch, you got like bags and bags and bags full of these panels right here. So these are plastic panels and you can see how the light reflects, you know, in all these different ways coming off of it. And what I'm hoping for is I'm hoping that once I get these, I get this whole wall covered with these, that once I hit these with a light and then I put the vignette on there and post-processing and things like that, it'll really add um, some atmosphere to what is going on back behind this sofa so I can turn this into a full scene as well. So basically the ultimate goal that we're trying to accomplish is we're trying to accomplish that when people look at the video, when the video first opens up, we want people to go, wow, this looks pretty cool. I wanna stick around and watch some of this. So what we're gonna do is we are going to first get those things up on the wall, then we're gonna play with the lighting and we're gonna see how we can light it to really take advantage of the different textures that we have back there and things like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, this is the new setup without any additional lights added. So right now I'm hitting myself with just one can light over here and that basically is just bringing all of this light to my face. But as you can see, it's pretty dark over on this side. So remember, we're trying to make this look as cool as we can. So what I need to do is I need to find a way to brighten up this side of my face and that includes adding more light. So what I'm gonna do is the first thing I'm going to do is I have an aperture light um, with a remote, which is great for situations like this and I'm going to turn that light on. Now I change the color temperature to where it's extremely yellow, just to kind of give a little bit of, you know, of a different look. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add that. And as you can see right there, that adds just a little bit of color um, over on this side, but it's still pretty moody. And as you can see, I've also got this really dark thing going on right here, and I wanna get rid of that. So what I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna turn on another light over here that's going to lighten up um, this side just a little bit, but not too much. Now, um, with this particular setup, you can see I've got, you know, a lot of uh, brighter light coming in from this side. And then over on this side, I have just a little bit of light. Now, I still have this thing, which I would have to deal with at a later date because that will require some real fine tuning. Um, but another thing I'm going to do is Alexa, turn on sofa. Is we're also going to add a little bit of a, a light back there this way. and. Because I like to have some type of color going on in the background, um, another thing that, that I would like to do is I would like to add an additional light hitting this background as well, maybe with a little bit of a color. But even without that, even just in this situation like this, where I've got this one up here hitting me, I've got another light over here just lightening this side up just a little bit. Um, I've got a little bit of color going back there, like just this by itself, after I fix the sofa here, there we go. Just this by itself makes for, you know, a much more interesting look than just having a plain wallpapered background where I just have the light hitting me, basically blasting me out. Um, this is a lot more moody and a lot more interesting in contrast. Now, I'm also going to post process this in terms of the color and in terms of putting like a vignette on it and things like that. So this is what it looks like without the processing. And of course this is what it looks like with the processing back. But overall, this entire setup costs um, about $100 for the things on the wall back here. I have to spend just a little bit more, um, about another 20 bucks for some additional versions just to fill in the, um, the fill areas just so I can have it looking nice when I come in here as well. And uh, in addition to that, um, the lights, I'm just repurposing those from lights that I already use. And the only addition would be the hue light 
that I have back here so that I can change the color. That was around a hundred bucks as well. Um, but that wouldn't be required because again, you know, you could just splash that with another color of light or something along those lines. And with the aperture light, that's another one that's like a $500 light. However, um, with that same idea, you can also do four about the same price that I have this other light here that's hitting me, my main key light. And this one here was about uh, maybe $30, maybe $40 in total. So since that one's not hitting me directly, I can just use a colored light to just splash whatever it is that I want in the background. But in this particular situation, um, I'm actually happy with this. The only thing that I would adjust is this right here. And I would do, I would do that by raising the light that's hitting me on that side, raise it up a little bit, maybe bring it just a little bit closer so that it would take care um, of a little bit of that shadow as well. So anyway, the idea here is that you wanna keep your costs down. You want to go to a hardware store, you wanna to try to find something that you can attach to the background that won't cause any damage once you remove it. And this is extremely important, especially if you're renting, but even on your own stuff, because you know, when you do something like this and you can remove it easily, then that gives you the option to change things in the future if you wanna freshen things up and stuff like that. To see a full studio tour, basically my whole setup, make sure that you watch this video right over here. And to learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.